I showed you Pastor Ezekiel's church at New Life Mavweni Kilifi County in Kenya. Are you Benjamin Jackson? And I showed you Prophet Kakande's church in Kampala, Uganda. Now, these two ministries, Pastor Ezekiel and Pastor Kakande, have got one similarity. What is that similarity? People travel from all over the world to visit their churches for prayers, deliverance, and healings. Hello guys, thanks for watching. I'm Cleo Faswanyama, Cleo with him. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're watching me for the first time. In this channel, we talk about the deep things of God. If you want to donate to what I am doing to this ministry, if you want to support me, use the information on, on your screen or at the description page below. Now, Pastor Zekel of New Life Church Mavweni was once in Shanzu. He had, a, he had a building in Shanzu, started ministering. The church began to grow. He got attention. People were coming from all parts of Kenya to receive their healings, to receive their breakthroughs, and to receive their deliverances. And that's how the church grew. And that's how the church became famous. Eventually, he moved, he got a bigger place in Mavweni. That's where he built his building, his new church, and is also building a city. It is expected to be supermarkets, they're expected to be hotels, banks, and schools, learning institutions in that place at New Life Mavweni. Prophet Kakande also had a church, a former building. Now, when the time of COVID came, there was lockdown in Uganda. He demolished those, the old church and started building a new one. The new church of Prophet Kakande is very huge. It has uh, elevators. It has modern facilities. It has rooms. It's very huge. It is being built on a very huge piece of land in Kampala, Uganda. And I'll I went and I showed you the video of how that church is. Now, my question is, why are these ministries building bigger churches? Why are these ministries building major structures? Is it a problem? Many, some complain, but I say there is no problem. Why? These people attract a huge amount of followers. People travel from all over the world to seek healing, to seek deliverance, to seek breakthrough. For instance, here at New Life, every day there are buses which come from up country Kenya to Mavweni, carrying people just to come to seek prayer and deliverance. And deliverance. At Pastor, at Prophet Kakande's church, people travel from all over the world. People come from Europe. People have personally helped people from who are coming from many parts of the world, from the United States, from the United Kingdom, from the Caribbean, from South Africa, from West Africa, going to Kakande Ministries for prayer, healing, and deliverance. Now, when these people come, they must stay at a comfortable place. You can't expect people to travel miles and miles away to come to your church to sit under a tree. You don't expect them to come to your church and find a place which is not organized. This is the reason why these churches are putting up such structures. They are putting up such facilities so that they can be able to accommodate the visitors who are coming from all the parts of the world. Now, this is the reason why you find Pastor Ezekiel has went to Mavweni and is constructing hotels, rooms, restaurants. There are going to be facilities. Why? So that to accommodate the visitors who are coming to the church. Prophet Kakande is the same. He's building a church. The church is still under construction. 
but some parts are almost complete. Why? So that to come accommodate, so that when the visitors come to their church, they feel comfort. So when you are planning to go for healing, when you are planning to go for deliverance, you you go and you stay in a comfortable room where you feel safe. Remember, visitors come from many parts of the world and it will cause a diplomatic problem if people who come from, from different parts of the world and something bad happens to them in the country where these ministries are. Pastor Zekel is in, in the coast province in the country of Kenya, Kilifi County. Prophet Kakande is in based, is based in Kampala, Uganda. Now imagine people coming from the UK, from the US, and then they come, then and then there's no order, then something bad happens to them. Their government will blame our government for not taking care of their people once they have come here. It's the same thing as tourism. When tourists come to our nation, we welcome them. We give them hospitality. We make them feel comfortable because they are visitors and we love visitors. The same way when people come to seek the face of God, when people come for deliverance, they have to feel comfortable. They have to feel at home. Meanwhile, they are waiting for their healing and for their, for their deliverance to take place. Now, this is why Pastor Ezekiel and Prophet Kakande are building these structures, these multi-million structures, so that to make sure when you go to their church, you feel comfortable. When you go to their church, you feel safe so that you can receive your prayer. I believe in prayer. I believe in deliverance. And I believe in the prophetic there is no problem where when people travel from parts of the world to seek prayer and deliverance god has gifted the, the body of christ with different kinds of gifts there are those who have healing there are those who operate in the prophetic and because of these gifts you find people who have different problems in the body of christ they may need to travel to meet the anointed man of God, so that they can receive their healing, so they, so that they can receive the deliverance. I've experienced many who have been who have been touched. Many their lives have been transformed. Many have been healed because they went to meet the man of God. They visited the place of healing and deliverance, and their life was never the same again. Now, this does not mean that. You should, you should always travel. Yes, you can have faith. You can have faith. You can study the word and you can believe God on yourself, by yourself, and you can receive your miracle. That is very true. But sometimes there are people who have prayed the best they know. They have studied the best they know. They have, they have given sacrificial offering. They have fasted and nothing seems to work. Such people, they feel they need a, a touch from an anointed man of God. Remember, God said he brought Israel out of Egypt by a prophet. And by a prophet were they preserved. Prophets are agents of restoration. Prophets are agents of preservation. Prophets are agents of deliverance. This is why in this channel, I promote the prophetic. I promote ministers who do the prophetic. Because I know the power of the prophetic in changing lives and changing nations and changing the dest the destinies of individuals. So, guys, this is why you find Pastor Ezekiel is, is investing millions in, in developing Mavweni. This is why you find Prophet Kakande is investing millions of dollars in, in developing the, the church structure at Mulago in Kampala, Uganda, so that when you go, you feel safe. When you go, you are comfortable as you wait for the touch of God. Hello, guys. Thanks for watching. It's me, Cleo Fasanyama, Cleo Rhythm. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. I love you. See you in the next video.